I shared a while ago with you that God's will for me and for you is good. Do we remember this often enough? Do we really believe this? Think about what's going on in your life right now. Whatever is happening, believe and know for yourself, God's will for me is good. God desires for me health and love, companionship, prosperity, financial stability, peace of mind and peace in the world. I am willing to accept all of these. All of us have grown up with little phrases that maybe we've erroneously come to believe as true. An accident happens, a death occurs, or someone gets sick and people say, oh, I guess it was just God's will. Do we really believe that God has some perverse need to have us suffer and be punished? One time I visited a patient who was recovering from an operation in the intensive care unit. And I walked into the room and he had all kinds of IVs in him and monitors checking his body constantly and he was all hooked up to this sophisticated technology. Medical experts were watching him day and night. And I said, how are you getting along? He replied, oh, I don't know. I guess it's just God's will that I have this problem and I ought to just accept his will. I purposely tried to shock him out of such a ridiculous attitude. I said, wait a minute. If it's God's will that you be ill and stay ill, then why are you in here with all these IVs and monitors to help you? It's costing thousands of dollars a day. All this care and technology is trying to get you over the illness. If it's really God's will for you to be sick, then why do all of this? You should be doing the opposite of all of this and just try to get sicker. He didn't really believe God's will is sickness. He was just repeating an old negative superstition without really thinking about how it flew in the face of his efforts to get well. Dr. Bernie Siegel, the medical doctor who wrote Love, Medicine and Miracles said, science is catching up with good feelings. When you are happy, every cell in your body knows about it. Feelings are chemicals, said Dr. Siegel. If God told you to be happy for the rest of your life, what would you do? Would you take God up on it? Remember, God's will is always life and our life is immortal. We can know and affirm, my will to live is strong. I see much in life worth living for. I believe and know that God's will for us is always good and we are immortal beings. Life extends beyond this lifetime and particular incarnation. I am always in the light, protection, love, and life of God. In that consciousness, we can truly say, Thy will be done. And know the light of God surrounds me. The love of God enfolds me. The power of God protects me. The presence of God watches over me. Wherever I am, God is.